So here you can see uh, we've got down to ground level, uh, well water level, but there's still a lot of it to break up. <laughs> and uh, there's more stuff down here, which uh, I don't think there's any more chests. But uh, let's just show you what we've got so far from the top levels. Right, in the extra special chest, all right, all the stuff you can get. Well, I've got so many beds. We've got stone javelins, wooden javelins. We'll have to have a look at those later. We've got all these, which are the lucky things. And you will always get some form of uh, uh, DNA. We've got these ancient glass, which are new items. They weren't in the mod before. We got six biofossils. We got five culture vats, although you can get more. A gold block book and quill and we got oh a wooden javelin does that mean they don't stack more than 16 no they don't look at that paper uh we got a drum yeah we got a drum i thought we got something else we didn't get the sifter and we got all these ancient stone bricks and we ancient wood and there's gonna be a load more and we've got some odd stones eight fossils which are there jukebox so my next trick now will be just to really literally it's easy to just go down here and start digging out oh that was for it but literally it's digging out the hole and i'm just going to go down and around because i've got breathing water breathing uh this is not so good the glass there's loads of glass and it's just a case of digging down like this here this has got lots of glass so what i'm doing is also digging out apart from the top level I'm just literally digging it out as I go along. And I don't think I'll find any more... Uh, don't think I'll find any more chests, but you never know. And uh, I'm just going to dig this out. It's the easiest way to leave the top layer up. There's a bat somewhere. Still some more stuff here. I wonder if there's a cave. I know, it's just, just there. Oh, we're out of it here, so I just got, don't want to get sucked into that. And the wall of the the building is still here. And you saw from the picture it was quite a large building. There we go. Because it is, you get loads of stuff. Oh. Ooh. Oh, got. Did I get an empty shell? Right, okay. There we go. Uh, well, so it's just a case of really, I'm just digging it out and I'll come back once I dug everything out and show what we got left. I'm just really mining this now for all the stone bricks and stuff and all these glowstone blocks as well, which are pretty cool. There's like the whole lighting area here. That's pretty good. Right, I'll be back afterwards. So, uh, well, I finally got rid of it, uh, however. Still a few more things down here. Yeah, so I've got, ooh, keep finding these and just keep giving me shells. There was some, uh, oh, some coal there. But, uh, uh, oh, there's a cave here as well. I wonder if I can just nip into there and see if there's anything in there. Oh, there is a cave. Ah. Oh, fossils. See, this is, oh, I need some new torches. Where's my torches? See, you can get, this is the first cave we've found. Whoa. There's some coal there. Some, yeah. Not that I need any more coal. It's the fossils I want, so I'll just see something here. Yeah, get a bit more coal. It always helps to get, oh, iron, that's what I do want. Okay, but fossils and uh, iron, that's all I want, I don't have any coal, there were some fossils up here, yes there are, so let's just see, anyway I was, <laughs> that's funny, I just found that, oh look, the, you, you want to grab every single fossil because, uh, oh there's more iron there, because you never know when you won't get any more, because the percentage, as you've seen already, you need quite a lot of fossils now, I thought I saw some more, Two more. And no more there. Is there any more? Oh yeah, fossils here. Good. Oh, I can hear lava. There is. Uh, oh. 
There is some more fossils here as well. There's the fossils. So you can see that going through... Oh, there's more up here as well. Oh, what's there? Nope. Block this off. No, we can get those fossils anyway. Let's just go and get these few fossils here. We're not here to cave today. We're just here to, but I'll take three fossils when I can grab them. All right, let's get back out of here. Oh, get back a bit. I was going to show you when I got distracted. It's obviously good to get loads of fossils straight away. Caves, let's go back out of here. Oh, yeah. I've also seen some colocanths. Uh, colocanths? Anyway, I call them colocanths. Uh, but I haven't managed to get close enough to get one, so I'm gonna have a quick get all the remaining goodies from here. I am now just to show you completely. Must be lava under there because that's why it's shiny. Oh, I saw two swimming by because it'd be good to get their meat and good to get their DNA. What I'll do is see if we can see any while we're here. I'm gonna take this back. Well, it's daylight. So what did we end up with? We ended up with so much stuff from this, as you will see. Right, so the goodies, we'll take that now, I don't need that anymore. And, oh, there's more here. No, more, it's always more. I want all the blocks anyway. Oh, it's glass. There we go. I think I've got everything now. Anyway, come and have a look at this hoard. So, we have got so many ancient woods. So, if you were in pure survival, you would get yourself a load of stuff. Uh, I've got glass, got glowstone, got culture vats, we got DNA, we've got scraps, we got biofossils, we got these wooden javelins. You can get other implements as well. Uh, I've also got some, that's coal, but we've got a load of fossils, or 34 fossils. But the best thing is all this ancient wood and also this ancient stone blocks, which we can uh, do what we can with normal blocks as well. And we've got all this mossy stone as well. And look at all this. This is a second chest full. Uh, we've got tons of beds. <laughs> and we've got some wood and stuff like that as well. So now I've got to get all this stuff back to the base. And that's two chess loads, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a chore, uh, to say the least. Let's go and see if we can find these uh, color camps that are out here. I want to go and get a couple. They were swimming round. Can't see very well under here. Nope. More of these. They were swimming, and I just couldn't go and get it. Oh well, well, well when we go up, we'll go and have a look and see if we can get any because they want there. We'll kill that pig as well because I need the meat. So yeah, there you go. So that is now gone. Uh, I'm going to take it. Oh, I need to go and get the uh, pumpkin. I need to go and get that pumpkin that was on its own. Remember? Oh look, there's some lit light over there as well. Might be a cave. Yeah, come on. Oh get that pig meat every meat we can uh, yeah, I don't know where they've gone to if we see any we're gonna go and kill some so right okay well uh, come I'll tell you what I'll go and get that uh, and some more fossil stone up there as well so what I'll do is I will just go and uh, take this stuff back to the base which is gonna be uh, a bit of a tuna throwing but hey it won't take me too long to do that. Right, I'll be back shortly. Oh, that's the wrong one. Right, take the more valuable stuff back. It won't take me too long. 
so before we leave to go back to the base, I thought I'd take the opportunity to look at the two naturally spawning uh, animals within the kingdom. And you saw them earlier. Uh, one is the Nautilus and one is the Colocanth. Now the Colocanth's over there, so they're a bit rarer, so I can find Nautilus everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down there and show you how you can capture these animals because you can actually capture them and transport them. So first one is I'm going to, we're going to have a look at is the colocant. So let's go and uh, uh, have a look. Let's get down in the water. Yeah, there we go. And what we'll do is we'll nip over here. Where's he gone? Oh, well, that's me, my shadow. Now, he was over here, if I remember rightly. They do despawn. Where's he gone? Which is quite interesting. One minute he's here, and then he's gone. Right, okay. That's exactly well. Anyway, so, right, let's go and find the Nautilus. Right, the Nautilus, uh, basically, you saw before that it dropped an empty shell, but what it will drop once you kill quite a few of them is you get the magic conch. Right, let's go down and see if we can get this one. Now, what I'm going to do is you can't breed them, but they are everywhere in shallow water. So if I have an empty spot and I go down to this one here... I should be able to pick him up. There you go. Another empty spot. Oh, yeah. Let's get this one before I get this one. Right, so we've got three in our inventory. Ooh. Get back up to the surface. Uh, so now we've got uh, three of these Nautiluses. What you can do with them is we can now go and place them in water elsewhere. So if you've got a tank or anything, you could do that. So the Nautilus only uh, spawns in shallow waters like we've got it here because it's not too deep. The uh, Nautilus, you just look, as you saw there, we pick them up and we can then place them down in water again. So we can do that. And basically all that happens is you either get the empty shell, which we got previously, or you can get the magic conch, which we'll look at in a later episode. We haven't got any of those then, so it's good to go around and kill a few to see if you get the magic conch, especially as they are everywhere. The other thing you can do is actually cook them. <laughs> uh, basically uh, basically make some so-shu-li, so shu li so shay <laughs> so uh, that's the way it's written but I'm not very good at Taiwanese but it's a Taiwanese snack so let me just go and see what I'm going to kill those uh, uh, pigs over there and also look for the collar camp now there was there were a couple of collar camp let me just uh, get rid of these in here to keep them we might pick up a few more uh, but we need to go and collect some uh, pigs as well so I've got my non-fire sword for the pigs because I want raw meat I bet you now we'll go out here and also I noticed there was some uh, out here as well there was some fossils under the sea so I'm going to jump out of the boat leave it here come up underneath these there we go oh yes oh did I get that no oh there's some fossils down here let's kill these oh <gasps> yes the magic conch right we'll come and have a look at that and I'll tell you what that does before the end of this video oh that's not there so let's go and get these a minute yeah let's go and get some more fossils here I might as well take these you can see because I've got the uh, the texture pack on it's a bit funny I might turn the texture pack off but just show you underneath here so I'm gonna go around let's wait till the cola camp comes back and we'll pick one of these I'll go and farm this stuff because that's a bit boring but look there's some more here let's just go up here oh, wow there's quite a lot that's because this was terraform remember so where the waters around the uh, area we can get some more so I will come back shortly once I've got some of this and taken some resources Right, so here we've got some colocanth there, and 
that looks like we have got a couple of different colours because there's supposed to be ocean river and swamp colocanths. Uh, basically, these are the only living uh, new animal in the model in terms of new dinosaur animal which live, they're thought to be extinct, but they live now at the exits of Madagascar and also found in the over by uh, the Pacific Ocean as well. So let's go and get some of these because let me just uh, take these out. Don't want that. I've got the and this magic conch. I'll tell you all about it in a minute because I know what that does now. So let's try if we can get some of these color camp now. Let's get out of this boat and let's go down here. There's one here. And as I say, this they used. To Maybe because of the way I've done the mod, we're going to get the different color ones in the ocean because maybe the biomes are a bit mixed up. Let's go and capture this one so we can do the same thing. There we go. Ooh, there's another one here somewhere. Let's go and get this one as well. I've already got two because I tried this out earlier on, which are back at the base. So I've captured that one. So we've got a river color camp and a swamp color camp. Uh, yeah, really cool. Where's the other one's gone? So what I can do with these, maybe because this used to be a river here, maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure because the mod is obviously in development, so maybe that's all. But I'm quite happy now. And oh, boats over there. Let's go and kill a few more. Oh, I need some uh, food, but I've got that. Let's go and kill a few more of these. See, because remember we. Uh, nope. Some of them are spawning here, and I can't kill them, which is rather odd. I want some more ink sacks anyway. Oh, I think, did I get another one? I'm not sure. There's loads here, but I've got tons by the base as well, so we can kill loads of these. Uh, I'm also getting... Yeah, that's one that's not moving round. So the other cold account's gone. Never mind. We got two, didn't we? And I've got the, uh, I've got the ocean cold account nearby as well Ooh, oh squid I've got plenty of those right okay yeah so the color camp again is the only second naturally spawning uh, animal in the uh, fossil and archaeology uh, mod uh, basically oh you can't put them on land because they will suffocate and we now hopefully got the free variants which we can show you when I get back to the base because I've just taken the remaining stuff back uh, and I need some food. So I need to eat that. And then we need to head back uh, to the base. That's really it really on those. And what I want to do is I can now keep them in my inventory. And then I can replace them in the water if we had a tank. Uh, so I've got to look into that. And uh, right. Okay. What was the... Uh, let's go and totally tell you about the final thing before we go. Oh, I've only got six shells the magic conch is used <laughs> so careful with that is used uh to call and summon the plesiosaurs so plesiosaur 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 i'm very sorry i don't get the names right you'll have to bear with me uh but uh, when we breed those we're to use this to hail oh ah see there you go if you click it it's a stay so there we go we'll have to go with that so what we'll do now is i'm going to head back fill the chest up and then knit back uh, and see what we can collect on the way and then we'll go back to our base yes yeah, so we're back here now some news about this this is the first time we filmed on the server i've got this up and running now on a one of my uh, my own personal server and it's still running pretty good and the graphics and everything are running but some important that's when ah look someone has been in here helping out well remember i said previously we were looking at these redstone lamps well for now while we wait for a 1.8 version some months away what we've done is uh wild trekker came on here and uh wild trekker if you know he's on part of wildcraft and uh, we filmed the wildcraft smp and there's a new episode coming up of that uh, but Wild Trekker is going to be on with us on here and Andy RRR, who you will have seen in the uh, in basically in Wildcraft SMP, and you will have seen Andy in uh, the raids in the raids on Origin MC and other videos. But uh, the first thing that they suggested was, why don't we try and put rather than these uh, glowstones, why don't we try and use pumpkins? Because remember, we're building 
building, we can use any block we want. Uh, well, we're doing the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are done in survival. They will be grown in survival. Uh, but, yeah, so they suggested put the flaming pumpkins, and they actually glow. When you sit here, you'll see they... You can see just about C. So it gave better lighting conditions. So that's a really good idea. So they started doing that for me. Uh, we've got some really good stuff coming up now. Uh, they've come on the server and we've got some big plans in terms of what we're going to build. Uh, Andy is going to build some stuff and you'll see him uh, build some new stuff for this uh, island. And uh, Trek is going to come on and do some filming and he'll probably do some uh, dinosaur stuff as well so that's all happening so we're starting to build now and I've now got a couple of friends so let's just finish up let me just show you in here because we've got two of the ocean cola camps there uh, if you remember we got five uh, culture vats from the uh, from the Academy so we had that we got all this fancy stuff in here now so uh, living nautiluses, I need to put them in. You can see the living. I can cook them, but I'm not going to do that today. I've got the uh, the magic conch, which is really good. Uh, and we started to get some uh, raw meat because we're going to need the raw meat to use with the uh, cultivators. So that's going to be the next thing. And the analyzer now, and we've got 64 fossils. I literally got 64 there. I give up at 64. Uh, so now I know where I can get uh, fossils in the ocean. If we look in here, we already had another 64 and 57. So I've got tons of uh, fossils now from the mine to get going. Uh, we need to build a pen because we've got two uh, plasius plasius or Plesiosaurs, plesiosaurs, that's how it should be said. Uh, you can correct me, I don't care. So we've got two plesiosaurs which we're going to try and cultivate. But you saw what happened when we use the, sorry, cultivate, I call them cultivate, it's culture vats, so we cultivate them in the culture vats. Uh, we had that problem where they exploded, so I need to now go and make a load more of these. And I need to, we can analyze the biofossils, need to break the fossils, so we're really motoring on. And what I'll do in future videos is have a look at some of these implements. So as we go along, we'll keep looking at different things and giving an update on that. Uh, I need to also, uh, I need to cultivate, I need to analyze the plant fossil or cultivate it in the culture vat. So I need to do one of the plant fossils so we can grow some of our first uh, uh, trees. So that'd be really cool as well. So uh, I'm just going to place these in here for now because I haven't got a tank uh, that I can put them in. Let's go and put that back up there. So I'll put the live stuff in here. I think I need another chest now to put the live stuff in actually. So I think that's what we'll do. So leave those live items in there. Uh, Ankylosaurus, we haven't got a pen for those. Mosasaurus. We're not going to do those as well. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm trying to make them more sh uh, shorter, no longer than 20 minutes an episode, to try and get them out uh, sooner. Because I had, we were spending the weekend up getting the server up and running and getting all the mods working, uh, it sort of took a bit of time this weekend. But we're having the guys have asked me to put a couple of mods on. So we're going to do use a building mod, a couple of building mods, to help us create some fantastic builds uh, on this island. So there you have it. Uh, if you uh, like these videos, and I know a number of you do, please keep watching and make comments, please, because uh, I'm going to start naming the dinosaurs uh, to uh, for our viewers. So we need to come up with some good names for the dinosaurs. And if you come up with a good name that we use, and I'll mention you, uh, in the video so hey there you go uh, we'll see you next time and uh, thanks for watching it's uh, going on from strength to strength so thank you very much indeed and it's uh, bye bye for now